Welcome. This video is a brief demonstration of a method that I have used several times to repair Microsoft Access database files that were damaged or corrupted. This particular file was developed on a machine that had Office 365 as well as Office 2003 installed. Upon completion, it ran fine, but when I tried to run it on a machine that did not have Office 2003, there were errors. Your database or project contains a missing or broken reference to the file mdivwctl.dll version 11.0. This is a dynamic link library file from Microsoft Office 2003. So once Office 2003 wasn't available, the file didn't run correctly. I have renamed the database Damaged Database. When I open it, you'll see the message followed by to ensure that your database or project works properly you must fix this reference when I continue the database will open but with another error function is not available in the expressions in query expression and when I continue the exam date field has an error so I'm going to close this database and create a new Microsoft Access database and open it from external data, I'm going to import database access from the desktop, the damaged database. I'm going to import all the tables, all of the queries, all of the forms, there are no reports, the macro and the module. Now I'm going to set the file options of the current database to display the login form on open with overlapping windows and we don't need to display the navigation pane. Okay, I'm going to restart the database. And the error is gone. When I log in, the other error is gone. And the exam date field error is gone. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thank you for watching.